Here in Oklahoma, we've always had a fond appreciation for our red buds, but the horticulture industry over the last couple of decades has definitely recognized red buds as well. And in fact, they've released several new cultivars. Behind me here is one of those known as the Rising Sun. And this was actually selected from some collected seeds that were planted in 2004. So the parentage is a little unknown on this, but it was identified by Cindy and Ray Jackson of Jackson Nursery in Tennessee. And the reason why they selected this particular seedling that they were growing was because of this new growth that comes out with this, this beautiful apricot foliage. You can see as that new foliage begins to develop and mature, it turns to more of a bronze color than a chartreuse color, and eventually those leaves mature to their traditional green color. So in addition to those pink spring flowers that you get, you also get this nice foliage throughout the season. And in fact, because it will continue to put on new leaves, you have that kind of ombre effect or that transition of all of those colors being on this plant at the same time. Now it's known also because it's very drought and heat resistant. You can see we have it here in full sun and it's doing quite well. It's been growing here for several years because um, sometimes they can be more of an understory or part shade tree, but this one has done just fine here for us in full sun. The nice thing about this is it's gonna cap out about eight to 12 feet tall. And so it's a good small tree for most landscapes. Um, so if you're looking to add a little bit of foliage color, as well as those spring blossoms, you might consider the Rising Sun cultivar. Now, while the Rising Sun red bud is hardy from zones four to eight, here we have one that's called or known as flamethrower. And this particular one is hardy from zones five to nine. So it's still well within our Oklahoma hardiness zone. And you can see this too offers a, quite a unique rainbow effect on the foliage as well. In fact, Flamethrower is a hybrid between the one that we just saw, the Rising Sun, and one known as Ruby Falls, which is a burgundy kind of weeping red bud. And so you can see because of that cross, we've got a much more intense burgundy new growth that then kind of fades into more of a chartreuse lime color behind it. Again, setting off quite a unique contribution as far as the foliage color that we get throughout the season. And again, you're gonna also see that you have these red petioles that are a nice accent against those chartreuse colors as well. You'll still get those rosy pink flowers in the spring. The other thing to keep in mind about both of these hybrids is that they are still our native genus species, Circus canadensis. So like our native red buds that we find often growing around the kind of understory or the edge of the forest, they can appreciate that partial shade, especially in the hotter climates. However, they do like to have some sun exposure. We have it planted on the west side of some pine trees, and this particular one's gonna get bigger than the rising sun. So actually it'll get to be about um, 15 to 20 feet tall with about a 10 to 15 foot spread, which you might be thinking, well, this is kind of a small area that we've planted it in, amongst these pine trees here. However, I will say that we're sort of succession planting. We're planning for the future because these pine trees are quite old and we have seen some decay. In fact, we lost one last year and we've got some others that we're keeping an eye on. And so it's gonna take some time before this one actually gets to that mature height. So we're going ahead and planting it, getting it established while it still has that kind of protected environment but eventually knowing that these red buds might, or excuse me, these pine trees might come down and it'll allow for this red bud to have more room to grow. But both of them are moderate sized trees and a great addition to your Oklahoma landscape. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.